Hi girls, welcome back to Glam Me Up. Today I'm going to be doing my April favorites video. I used to call them ins and outs videos, but I kind of decided I'm just going to go with favorites videos because people already know what those are and they're used to seeing those since everyone else calls them favorites. And I kind of wanted to have something different before where I had products that I loved and products that I didn't like, but I never really had a lot of products that I didn't like because now that I've gotten more used to trying out products and stuff, I'm kind of a lot better with judgment as to what would be good and what isn't good, so I don't really have a lot of products I don't like anymore. Um, if there is something that I really didn't like that I want to share with you guys, I will still be including that in these videos. I'm just going to be calling them monthly favorites videos. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you want to check out any of my previous ins and outs videos, I will link those below the playlist for that. I haven't done one of these in such a long time because when the time always comes around to do it, I never have time since I've had so many other videos I need to get up and school has just been crazy for me. Also, I'm going to be having information about a giveaway that I'm having at the end of the video. So if you want a chance to win something, then make sure you stay tuned till the end to find out what that is and how you can enter. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have is my Too Faced the Bronze and Beautiful French Riviera Edition Bronzer Palette. And I just showed this in an Apotheca haul that I did. I will link that below where I did a full review of this product. It's just an amazing bronzing and highlighting product. It doesn't have any blush or anything, but there's some amazing highlight shades in here. I'm wearing a lot of these today, actually. Um, these two bronzers kind of mixed and then this bronze highlight color. So if you're wondering what's going on on my face, definitely mainly this palette here so I really love this you can find this on apotheca.com the link for this and everything else will be on my blog so if you're interested in that and also um, the review and swatches and stuff are in that haul and review video that I did the next thing that I have is also from that Apotheca haul and review video and this is the Stila Acai Crush Lip and Cheek Stain I have a full review of this product in that Apotheca haul as well but it's just a really nice lip stain. It's a bright pink berry color. You can layer this up however you want and it's just perfect for the season. I've really been loving this this month. Just tons of different variations of lip colors you can get out of this so that is really amazing. And it lasts all day. It's like the best lip stain that I've ever tried. So The next thing is another lip product and this is a Revlon lip butter. I still am like loving these. Like This one is called Sweet Tart and it's just a hot pink, a light hot pink color. It's so pretty. I don't have any lipsticks like this. It's just the perfect Barbie bright pink color um, for spring and for summer. You can really tell the color of the cap. That's definitely the color that it is on your lips. And I just love the consistency of these. I will have a swatch of this on my blog if you're interested, but it's definitely a hot pink color. You can make this really sheer if you want to, or you can also layer it up and make it a bright hot pink color, but I just like wearing it sheer on days that I don't want to wear a lot on my face, but I still want a bright lip color. I can just do a sheer wash of it and it's super pretty. And to go along with that, this is my NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Hot Pink. And I've shown this before. I've had this since um, last year, maybe the year before, but it definitely matches perfect with this. It's just a bright hot pink color. The camera does not even do this justice. It's definitely a neon pink, but it doesn't go on like that on your cheeks. You can use a stippling brush, is how I like to apply it, and it just gives you a nice splash of bright pink, or you can layer it up however you want it, but... So as you can tell, it's very, very pigmented. You only need a little bit, and you get this bright pink color. And NYX cream blushes are like my favorite cream blushes ever because they're so blendable and they blend nicely into your skin and they're very bright quality and really pigmented as well. So then I have a few eye products. The first is my NYX Slide On Pencil in Pure White and it's just a basic white eyeliner and I love these slide on pencils because they're very creamy. They're very comparable to the Stila um, Kajal eyeliners. I have the black one of that and the consistency is very similar as to where they're very good for smudging and blending and stuff or even using as a base, but then once they set, they're set in place and they're very pigmented in color. You can just see how bright white that is and it looks really good on the waterline. I wore it in my Apotheca haul on my lower lash line and it really made my eyes pop and I really liked it. Typically I don't like wearing white on the waterline just because I find that it can look a little bit unnatural, but for some reason this just blends nicely into it so it's not like stark white, but it just, I don't know, it looks really good on the waterline. And this is also really good to use as a white eyeshadow base since it is creamy. You'll just have to apply it quick and blend it out. That way you can get it blended before it's set. I also have the brown one of that. And I really like this one as well. This one is in 
brown perfection and this one's pure white if I didn't mention that. I'm wearing this today and I just have it smudged out on my upper lash line and then also on the lower lash line. Really loved it. It was perfect. It was really easy to blend with a pencil brush and some brown eyeshadow but then it just stayed in place on my lower lash line and stuff. It's not smudgy or anything so I really just love that. These are great eyeliners if you want a cheaper alternative to the Stila Kajal ones or the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencils. Um, I do have both of those, so if you want me to do a comparison or a battle of the brands video, I would be glad to do that. So just let me know if you're interested in seeing that. The next eye products that I have is the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. This one is in Black is Black, and I've talked about this so much and showed it in all my videos. It's just an awesome mascara. I want to do a review of this as well. But as you can tell, the brush is just your basic rubber brush, and it's got a bunch of bristles that are separated evenly, so it gives you that nice, separated, clean, defined look. But then it also has, just like the Benefit Their Real Mascara, it's got that um, ball at the end that's got spikes on it, so you can use that to get on this lower lash line or even on the smaller lashes around your eyes. I find that this is really good because it doesn't have that product build up at the end, so when you're brushing it through your lashes, you don't have clumps or anything because that is typically what causes clumps of extra mascara on the end when you're brushing it through, so this prevents that from happening since it does have the spikes on the end of it. I do want to do a review so I can show you how it works on my eyelashes. The next product that I have is a hair product, and this is the Burt's Bee Very Volumizing Shampoo with Pomegranate, and this is a sulfate-free shampoo. I've tried um, the older version of it as well, and I find that they're pretty much the same. This is the new one. It's in their new bottles, and I also tried the conditioner, which I'm not showing because I wasn't very crazy about the conditioner. I don't feel like it was moisturizing enough, which is odd because it is natural, so you think it would be very moisturizing, but it actually wasn't enough for my hair, so I'm currently testing out a different conditioner that is sulfate-free, so I will do a full video on my new hair care system and all that and all about sulfate free but I have really been loving the Burt's Bees sulfate free um, shampoo because it doesn't have sulfates or parabens and it still lathers up um, pretty good to where you can clean your hair and it gets my hair really clean so I definitely really love that. So then I have a face product to show you all and this is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Soothing Facial Toner. And this is a new brand that I've just found out about. I think it is new in stores as well and I found this at CVS but I'm sure they have it at other drugstores as well. And it's supposed to be all natural skincare products. This is the toner so it says it has vitamins, soothing nutrients and it doesn't have any perfumes or dyes and it's has no alcohol, it doesn't have any scent or anything to it. It just basically feels like you're putting water on your skin, but it does purify your face and remove any other traces of dirt, oil, or makeup after you cleanse your face. And it's also good for balancing out the pH level on your skin, that way it's not too oily or too dry. That's the whole purpose of a toner. And I definitely see where it does do that because I used to use the Neutrogena Oil Free Toner, but that one does have a fragrance to it. And I just wanted to go with something more natural. I don't like putting um, different parabens and stuff on my face so wanted to try out this line. I plan on trying out more from this because it is all natural products so I won't go into too much detail on this because I will have a skincare routine coming up soon and this will definitely be in it so if you're looking for a good toner I would recommend this one very much. So the last product that I'm going to show is a self tanner and you guys know I love the Sunlab self tanner and I have talked about that and done a full review on that. I still really like that but it is expensive and for me I use it so much and I use it all year round and a lot in the summer so for the summertime it can get expensive having to repurchase it so much because you don't get that much in a bottle and I feel like it doesn't last very long so I just have to reapply it too much for the price that it is even though it gives a really nice color and it is a great quality self tanner so if you want to check out that review I will link it below but I found a cheaper alternative and this is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion Deep Dark Color and it says for all skin tones. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see where I mentioned where I was asking if anyone had tried this before, and I'm glad that I went ahead and got it because I think it was only around like 6 or $7, and it is amazing. Surprisingly, I feel like it gives me a much darker color than the Sunlabs one. I see more of a difference, especially after two uses. It says to apply this at night, and then you can reapply it for a darker color, and I definitely find that I do have to reapply this to get the color that I want, or else it's a little bit uneven. So after doing two coats, I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm not sure how much you can tell in the um, bright lighting 
but definitely a lot of color and you can also see how it looks on my skin on Instagram where I tweeted a picture about the color of it on my skin and I just love the color of it. It's a deep dark color and it's not orange or anything and it applies very evenly. It's just a lotion consistency but it's more of like a jelly lotion so it really blends out nicely. I don't have any streaks and I like the way this fades. It just fades evenly not in splotches or anything and you can get it off if you scrub or an exfoliate which I like to fix mistakes and stuff. So I've been loving this. I'm going to do a full review and self tanning video all about self tanning and tips and stuff. So this is a great um, drugstore self tanner if you're looking for one. So that is all my products that I've been loving for the month of April and basically for the beginning of this year since I haven't done a favorites video in a long time. But And all of the products that I showed will be swatched and stuff on my blog if you want to see the true colors and everything. So now on to the giveaway part of this video. I'm going to be giving away an aura brush and I'm really excited to be giving this away because I just did my dental routine video where I featured the aura brush and I did a full review on it and I have an extra one either to keep or give away so of course I chose to give it away to you all just to, as a thank you and everything and to give back to you all so I'm going to be giving this away on Twitter so I will announce when I'm going to be giving it away and it will last a couple days I'm not sure how long I haven't decided yet but make sure you are following me on Twitter if you want to find out how you can win an aura brush so make sure you are following me on Twitter at GlamMeUp, and I will have the link below for that as well. I will announce when I'm starting the giveaway and when I'm ending it. I will also announce the winner of this on there, so all of that will be hosted on there. So please don't comment on this video saying enter me because your entry won't be counted since this is going to be a Twitter giveaway. And if you don't have a Twitter account, then um, don't feel bad because I am going to be doing another giveaway on this channel very soon. And if you don't win or you don't have a Twitter, you can also go to Try Aura Brush Free, I think, is the web address. I don't know. I have it listed below. But you can go on there and you can put in your address to get a free Aura Brush sent to you. So anyone can get a free Aura Brush. But on there you have to pay the shipping fee. But for me, I'm giving it away totally for free and I am paying the shipping for you. So if you want to get an Aura Brush totally for free where you don't have to pay anything, make sure you follow me on Twitter and I will tweet when the giveaway is going to start and everything. So make sure you check out my full review and dental care routine um, all about this and that will be linked below as well. Also for the giveaway make sure that you ask your parents permission because I will be asking for your shipping address so if you're not 18 or anything make sure you get permission to give that out and I will be sending you a direct message on Twitter if you are the winner so make sure you check your messages and everything regularly. And of course you also have to be a subscriber of my channel and a Twitter follower since it, this is a Twitter giveaway but you also have to be subscribed to this channel. So all the rules and everything will be in the bottom bar below and also on my blog if you want to check those out and a link to my Twitter and all that great stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.